YouTubers, good morning. Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel, thanks. And welcome to another Morning Coffee with Mike. I want to thank my, my Patreon supporters for supporting my channel. And this transmission is brought to you by the Patreon supporters. Thanks, guys, for buying me coffee this morning. Uh, okay, what's going on, guys? What's going on? There's a lot going on. Markets seem to stabilize a bit. Uh, Dow is up. TSX is up. ASX, Australian Stock Exchange, is up. Everything looks like it's up. Everything looks like it's going well. But it's only because the rumors of uh, uh, rates lowering rates. Australia is lowering rates right now. You got um, gold still going up. Gold is uh, uh, hitting all-time highs for the year. Uh, Bitcoin also fresh new all-time highs for the year. And it is looking good, if you ask me. It is looking good. And, uh, yeah, just uh, taking care of business here today. Dropping off a bunch of packages. And uh, off to get uh, coffee this morning. And what else do I got going down? That's about it, guys. Uh, trends in the housing market was cut to an hour last night. It was really, 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 really hot. Nobody's Skype was working, so it was like, ah, whatever. It was too hot. We did cover all the, we did cover all the territories, though. We got uh, Canada. We did a, a checkup on Canada and where it's headed. We did an Australian checkup. We did a... Um, uh, United States and a bit of New Zealand but what's concerning me is that the money laundering now now we're going we're getting into money laundering season if you want to call it that we're entering money laundering season because for some reason everything happens in patterns with all these English speaking countries so it started every okay I have to admit the money laundering started with Canada uh, first where it's been exposed Australia is trying to show it's gonna start trickling in I think I think it's about 60 to 105 billion laundered through Australia easily hands down no questions asked no debates uh, so there's quite a bit of uh, fake money uh, uh, going through Australia or money that shouldn't be there going through Australia so yeah there's traffic jams over all these little streets cars trying to get everywhere here Okay, what else is going down? Okay, well, markets look good. Uh, lowering rates, they want to lower rates. They want to. They, they're gonna, they, now they're looking at three rate reductions in the United States. So this is going to keep this Ponzi scheme obviously going for a lot longer. They want to get rates really down there, basically ripping our futures off is what they're doing. Banks not giving anything on returns anymore. Back in the day, you put your money in the bank, you get seven years. Seven years, you double your money. Now. It takes about, I think it's 196 years to double your money now at the way rates are going. I'm close to 200 years, I think I checked. So, what a, what a, what a ripoff. And uh, the, it's the average person that loses. It's, not, it's nobody else but the average person that's losing on this end of the stick. Right? Then you got these uh, uh, naked stock buys and naked gold purchases. Well, they're where, where uh, big, 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 big... Wigs are borrowing money at 0%, hedging against gold or uh, or buying gold and then dropping it at the right time at 0%. So they're borrowing this money and they're making pure profit. What a sickening, sickening thing. But anyways, today let's talk about uh, China's hedge. Right now, China's hedging. China's being smart. I'm watching what China's doing. China is selling U.S. treasuries right now. Because they are getting word that they're going to be lowering rates. And you know what happens to the bond markets when they start lowering rates even more, right? Bonds go down, stocks go up. Okay, so my family is... Uh, my dog, my dad hasn't been feeling well, so he's, uh, he's at the walk-in clinic there. So I'm going to check on him on the way back. Okay, what else is going on? That's about it. But, but China, let me tell you what's going on with China. It's kind of interesting to, where, to see where things are going to be headed. Very, very interesting. Because China is very smart when it comes to hedging. I, I've been noticing this. I mean, it's been it's bewildered its own people and misled a lot of its own people into false investing opportunities. Now, they're, they're, all these empty buildings with 50 million empty units just sitting there. 
They're not livable. It's just designed to pent up demand and create false markets. Everybody knows that, but China's got treasuries. Now, what's been happening is Ch China has been selling U.S. treasuries lately. So it could uh, 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 put money back in its reserves. So China has been selling U.S. treasuries. Now, this is what I've got on the uh, on the down low. China has been selling pretty much. It sold off 17 to 20 percent of its U.S. Treasury bonds. So, yeah, it's not. It's 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 already done that. So we haven't had a massive ripple effect here in the West yet, but it has sold 17 to 20 percent of its Treasury bonds, and it's reallocating its wealth. It's buying gold, and it's reallocating its wealth on the amount of wealth that's already left its shores. China now is starting to pay the piper because right now uh, it's getting tough for China because the amount of flows of, of, of wealth that has left, that has left, the amount of flow that has left its uh, shores is phenomenal. If you have 200 billion laundered in Canada through Chinese money, imagine how much is laundered through Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, um, uh, uh, even reports of, uh, of, of France, Spain, uh, Bermuda. Bermuda is one of them too, apparently. Uh, Jamaica. Half of Africa. Hi, can I get an extra large dark roast with one cream? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So, no donuts for Mikey today. I don't feel like it's... I have a lot on my plate today to do and... And uh, no one's coming to visit, so no one's get reported to visit yet today. So no donuts if you visit me today. Sorry. Okay, so what's going on? So China is selling its uh, China is selling its um, uh, treasury notes to kind of replace the wealth it's lost from its own citizens. Now China's got this uh, social credit score back up to speed right now, and it looks like it's working. And what's happening with the, sh the social? Uh, uh, credit scores it's it's keeping track of every cent every whatever you call it uh, penny or whatever they could whatever they use there I'm just joking but every, any dollar that leaves that uh, that that uh, the country now gets tracked reported and they know where it's going don't give it a, give it anywhere from 12 to 18 months China is gonna start asking its citizens abroad to start bringing its wealth back because it's gonna get really tight for China China has already sold 17-20% of U.S. Treasury bonds, and it hasn't made a dent or any trickle in the U.S. market right now uh, that we know of. Uh, it probably has through different layers of, of investing, but I'm not seeing anything major happening where everyone, there's a sell-off in the markets, right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. Bye. All right. Great day, great day, great day for everybody. Yeah, this Tim Hortons usually is pretty slammed because you got people from the coast coming up here. You know, the people from the coast are usually stop up here, get gas, and get their Tim Hortons and head to the head to Vancouver. The place of uh, the place of broken dreams, Vancouver, the best city on the best city on the planet. And then we got elections on our horizon this October. Uh, apparently, there's going to be some internet um, censorship because uh, they want to cut back on voting misconception or people that are uh, telling people what's going on and then getting people to vote another way. I don't tell people who to vote for. I just tell people to do their own research because that's very important, guys. Doing your own research is critical absolutely critical nowadays do not depend on anybody do not depend on government do not depend on anything unfortunately we are still living at a time of what you might call it that democracy is still in place and uh it's unfortunate in a way because none of, it never changes things don't change so it's falling apart so that's that's what i wanted to bring up china china hedging against uh, uh any catastrophic loss but I don't think China um, 
could recoup anything by selling U.S. Treasuries. I think they're it's they're well well gone, and they've been putting up that they've been putting their cards on the table about U.S. Treasuries for the longest time. It's an old broken song and record. It doesn't it doesn't add up. It doesn't it, it adds up, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think the U.S. is really big. I think U.S. is a lot bigger. U.S. holds a lot of debt. Yes, 21, 22 trillion dollars in debt. But U.S. is still one of the, still one of the biggest economies in the world for a reason. It's uh, U.S. infrastructure is bigger than any other country on the planet. They got highways going everywhere. They got um, they got everything going everywhere. So, as much as we think that the U.S. is 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 faltering, we got to look into other things, maybe other avenues of where it, where it could be, where it could be not faltering as much as we think, right? Okay, I'm gonna go check and see if my dad's okay and see what's going on here. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below and thanks for watching.